Well, hi everybody. I have 10 tips to help with Treasure Island fun. Uh, the first one, tip number one, empty your pockets. You will definitely need every space in your pocket that you have available, whether it's 10, 20, 30, or 40 spots. You will definitely fill it up because once you get to the Treasure Island, there's just too many things to choose from. So number one, empty your pockets. Okay, let's head to the airport and get this party started. That was weird. That sounded weird, but we'll just get started with the treasure islands. That, that sounded better. So, first off, be prepared to wait because some of the islands are really busy, really popular, and you'll have a long wait sometimes getting on, waiting your turn. Definitely worth it. But be prepared to wait. Uh, a lot of people coming and going, so sometimes it takes a few tries. But, uh, yeah, just be prepared to go get a cup of coffee, get your Kindle out. Sometimes it can be quite a wait, depending on how popular the island is. You can subscribe to islands and pay for islands to have a more private experience. But I go on to Twitch and I do the free Treasure Islands. So, you just have to wait a little bit and it's totally worth it. These dodo codes are all expired, by the way, so... There are a lot of free ones to choose from, and, um, yeah, de all different types. Some with all clothes, some with cottage core, some with holidays. They're all different, so you'll figure out when you find, uh, the page that you like, which ones have, you know, what you're looking for. Okay, most of them you can kind of see a little live feed to see how many are on there. They do a max of seven per island at any one time. So you can see if there's one, two, or five, or seven people on there coming or going. So you'll have some idea if you're going to be able to get on or not. And let's see how we're going to do with this first try. Yeah, so this means someone else is coming or going, so we just wait. And he'll try as many times as you want him to keep trying. Oh, and here we go. I'm trying to give you an actual, like, real-time experience of how quickly or easily these are to access. There is a lot of waiting, but definitely worth it. Number three, watch on the flyover. You can see what's down below. You can kind of scope out where you want to, you know, hurry and get to. The faster you can get on and off, the better because, you know, people are coming and going and you'll do a lot of waiting <laughs> while it's coming and going. Now, if you have, you know, enough time, then that's okay. All right, tip number four, turnips. If you pick up the turnips on their island and sell them at Timmy and Tommy's right there, you will have a billion bells put into your bank. So you will never have to grind away for bells if you're only interested in decorating your island. Pick up turnips and sell them. Of course, they don't buy them on Sundays, but that's definitely the way to go. Number five, have a lot of patience. Here's someone leaving. I'm going to kind of zip through this a little bit, but a lot of coming and going. You have to have patience. They had to wait for you, so you just have to wait for them. Again, it's, it's well worth it. Okay, and we just wait and wait. <laughs> okay, and then here we go. We try to zip through to number six, move fast. If you have a lot of time, it doesn't matter. And if you have a lot of patience take your time but you know you're just going to do a lot of waiting if you're on there for too long so move as quickly as possible there's no time limit you could spend as long as you want on some of these islands and unless you know the island it may take a while to see everything that's available so take your time but uh just depends how much time you want to put into <laughs> into the waiting 
sometimes my pocket gets full before I get into a quarter of the island because there's some favorite things that I just always want to grab and then I end up sometimes coming back two or three or four times to the same island. <laughs> I think that's, you know, you want to get a big inventory if you're doing a lot of uh, decorations and you have a, a vision, so... Someone else is on their way, so we will just wait. Try to speed through some of these parts so you don't have to watch me actually just walk around and pick stuff up. And this is where you go and make a coffee. When real time when you're waiting for someone to arrive, I think it's almost two and a half to three minutes. I mean, I actually have time to go in and make a, an entire Keurig cup of coffee <laughs> while they're coming on the island, so you know okay sometimes it takes a little longer than other times i don't know exactly how the whole process works but we'll just stand here and watch who comes in from neverland number seven always leave through the airport this is very important do not use the minus key Sometimes people get aggravated with too many people coming and going and they just hit that minus key to quietly leave. What that does is it shuts down communication to the entire island and everyone on there gets booted off. And everything in your pocket that you've gotten picked up, you lose because now you are zipped back to your own island and you've lost all your stuff. So do not use the minus button. And here's somebody else on their way here. So we just wait again. But yes, it's very important to leave through the airport. I know it can get aggravating when people are coming and going and coming and going on a very popular island. But it can be, you know, really upsetting when you take all your time. You finally get the things you want and then you lose them. So come and go through the airport. That's like the number one thing that they ask of you to do. Okay, so we're just waiting for Kennedy from Honey Isle. And we'll see what Kennedy looks like. I guess it's kind of fun to see what they uh, are dressed as or what their name. People from all over the world, you know, come here. So it's pretty interesting, actually. Okay, and... Like I said, you just go make another cup of coffee, <laughs> cup of tea, whatever you like. Plan what you're going to do with all the decorations you have in your pocket. You quickly learn which islands are more popular, which ones don't have as many people. Depends on the time of day, the day of the week, you know, so there's a lot of, a lot of very variations, variants in, uh, the same island from day to day, hour to hour. And that's what happens right there when someone leaves by using the minus button and not through the airport. So this is what happens. It kicks us back to our airport. And we'll go empty out what was saved. And it saved a few of our items. So that's, that's what happens when you hit the minus button. So... It can be a little bit upsetting when you uh, someone does that, but on to the next one. Here we go. Let's try again. It's all part of the game. Tip number eight, have an alternative island ready to try because you uh, 
it doesn't always go through. So you can try and uh, there, there's too many people coming on it. You just can't get on. It, he get, just keeps telling you it's busy, it's busy, it's busy. So have a couple in order that you want to try on your list because you can't always get on the one that you want, which can be frustrating because you might have, you know, a Christmas island you want or something specific that you want on that one specific island. But if there's a lot of people coming and going or they're doing maintenance on the island, you know, you you just can't get on it. So as much as you might want to. So have have a second choice. And there you go, right there. Unable to connect. So they might be doing maintenance on their island or anything like that. So just be prepared for that. I'll try to zip through this at a higher speed so we don't have to watch the <laughs> the long part here while I find the next island available here. I'm going to try on this uh, island. It's kind of like a, it's a starter island for not because the island is new, but if you have a new island that you're creating. So it has all the items that you need for your first three houses, all the uh, wood and rocks and everything that you need right at the beginning. The tickets, the golden tools. So this island is great for starting out a brand new island. You can go there and just get all your starter things that you need. And these starter islands aren't usually quite as busy as some of the ones with the fancier decorations, you know, the specialty islands. So just, it all depends on what you're looking for. Okay, this island's great. It has everything, the wooden ladders, pole vaults, uh, all the star fragments and shells anything and everything all the all the accessories that you could want to get started for all your DIYing <laughs> okay this like anything is just what you make of it oh looks like someone's on their way already so you gotta be fast oh it didn't go through okay number nine enjoy the experience I mean it is all in what you make of it right so you can get frustrated and not want to do it. Oh, see, someone's trying to leave. That's why it didn't go through. Uh, but it's as fun as you want to make it. Uh, it can be as painful as you need it to be. So, you know, just go into it knowing it's just all extra stuff that's for fun. And just have a good time with it. And just, I guess, appreciate that we have the ability to do this. I don't know. And every so often you end up like this where you have the entire island to yourself where you can run around and have no one in your way, no one coming or going, and you can take as much time as you want to do all your DIY. So I see there's one other person there. If there's no one else on the island, you know, you can go ahead and open up the pocket and learn the DIYs. If there's a lot of coming and going, you don't want to have a conversation with someone or open up that bubble or look in there. So, uh... You can't really learn the DIYs if people are waiting for you to close that window back. But this right here is like a payoff if you've taken the time and, uh, you know, you just get the island to yourself. So, And number 10, when done, run for the airport because you don't want to get stuck on an island waiting to come and go. So just run when you're done. Um, I've got stuck on an island one time for like 20 minutes. I really wanted the stuff that was in my pocket. I got like museum items or whatever. And I just couldn't get off because people kept coming and going. So when you're done, just to run for the airport. So treasure islands are great. I totally recommend doing them. It makes the game a lot more fun, especially if you've played for a long time. You can just do so much more with your islands. Oh, and see, just like real life, you get to wait at the airport in line for somebody else. But it's, it's worth your time, and you can do a lot more decorating and just a lot more a lot more fun, I guess, playing if you have all the decorations. You don't have to grind away for those miles and those bells. and So, might be a little bit of waiting, and I totally, uh, totally encourage you to give it a try. It's free, doesn't cost anything, so give it a shot. So, that's my 10 tips, and I hope that helps, and... Have a fun time and give those treasure islands a try. See you guys later. Bye-bye.